Bird Brain and today we are talking about drawing, but more specifically, how to create some cool texture brushes. But not like textured brushes, like brushes to draw textures with, if that makes sense. So have you ever had the need to fill a certain zone with a texture? So what I mean by that is, let's say I have this drawing of Tiger. This is Wu's pet. If I take a brush and I take any of Harmony's default, like somewhat textured brushes, such as mm, one I like very much is the square brush. I like the square brush. I made it. It's nice, but if I want to fill something with texture, you can see that this is just like strokes that I've tried to paint with. By the way, if you're trying to do this, make sure that your pen setting is not too high because I think... Oh, mine, mine is at 654. <clears throat> so usually if I want to doodle something, I will like turn it to zero because I want to be able to like fill something. But even so, like you know that this was someone who did like with a like a stylus. So what people usually want is more something like this. Ooh, look at this tasty texture being spread across my artwork. It's the same brush, but I just made one little difference. Also, <laughs> what's with that name? That, that must have been one of the classes I was giving. And when it's the fifth class you give in the same week, yeah, your brain starts to melt. <laughs> but yeah, so it's the same brush. It's just one small perimeter that's different. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So disclaimer, this new perimeter came with Harmony 24, if I recall. So if you want to have a wider brush, here's how you do it. First, you need to go select your brush tool. This is not going to work with the pencil. So go grab your brush. It also works with the stencil brush because both of them are brush. So I'm going to go grab my brush. And then you're going to head over to the presets and just, just pick one. Pick one that you want to use as a texture. You can make your one later, but start with something easy. I grab either like dry splooches, wet splooches. Or you can grab like the stars, like anything that looks like a repeating thing. Or you can grab square brush because I know it's in the software. I put it there some versions ago. So take it. It's nice. It's sweet. I like to paint with it. Grab the square brush and then make a line like this just so that we can compare. And then head over to the advanced properties of the brush. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go grab the vector brush properties. And you know, there's a lot of things you can customize. I have a whole video about it, but my video is pretty old and it doesn't include that new feature. So I guess I need to redo it. But if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see there is count and there is random offset Y. These are the two things you want to go play with. So the count, if you look up there, when I drag it, it's going to make higher the number of times that brush tip is used. Don't put it too high, guys. This is this is ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> so I'll leave it to one for now. And the star of the show is the random offset Y. So what this is going to do, it's going to take all of these little tips and spread them up and down your, your stroke, like um, on the sides. Okay, so it's hard to explain, but if you look at it now, you're going to see, whoa, it starts to get more large. So the random offset X is kind of the same thing, but like along your strokes, well, eh, that's not what we're looking for. So random offset Y, I'm going to set it to 300% because let's go. And I'm going to make a straight line and you see how wider this is. So this, if you want to fill something with texture, is what you need to play with. So it's the count and it's the random offset Y. This is fantastic to fill stuff with textures. Of course, there's more things you can play with, such as the spacing of this. Again, like the count and, you know, like you can play with the random size and stuff. So of course you can play with more, but like the main star of the show here is random offset Y. It is so nice. So yeah, that's it. It's not harder than that. You can use it and then you can use this to fill something with textures if you need to. And like I said, it also works with the stencil brush. Just make sure you set it to overlay mode because if you set it to repaint mode, um, you can't use <laughs> textured brushes. So you will have to use the overlay brush mode. And then this is going to work. Da -da -da -da. Fantastic. And that's it. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>